representatives of media outlets present. Good morning and salam alaikum. Noong pong pag-umpisa nitong malungkulan sa ARMM, kahiganti ang atas na ibinigay sa atin ni Pangulong Nagre Aquino. Binigyan niya po tayo ng misyon na ayusin ang isang pamahalaan na sa matagal na panahon ay naging kakamba na nito ang mga katagang kahirapan, korupsyon at karangsan. Gaano man katindi ang hamon, hinarap po natin ito sa panitiwalang kaya natin gawin ang tama at ituwit ang mali na ang tanging tangan ay pananalig sa Diyos at inspirasyon hinugot mula sa kapasihan ng mga mayang matagal ng naganais ng pagbabago. Nung hinarap po natin ang hamon, ang una pong katanungan sumagi sa aking isipan ay kung saan at paano ko magsisimula. Ano ang susing gawin para sa pagreforma sa burokrasya at pag-aayos ng sistema ng pamahalaan sa ARMM? Una po natin pinumpok ay ang larangan ng edukasyon. Ang isyo ng edukasyon ay tagos sa aking puso. Ako po ay produkto ng kahirapan sa ating sistema ng edukasyon. Naranasan ko pong maging classroom ang lilim ng punong kahoy. Nanggaling po ako sa lugar kung saan mas unang natutunan ng kabataan ang magkalas ng Carmelite kaysa magsulat o magpasa ng libro. Kaya po naisip ko kung gusto natin ang tunay na pagbabago, unahin natin baguhi ang sistema ng edukasyon. Tanging ang edukasyon ang magbibigay ng kasiguruhan para sa isang masaganang bukas. When we took the reins of the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao, the regional bureaucracy was teamed with ghosts and other anomalies. The Education Department, which takes up around 60% of the region's yearly allocation, posed the greatest challenge. We have teachers and students, and even an entire school, that exist only in paper and government transactions carried out in suspicious manner. The scale and complexity of the problems faced by the department were almost unimaginable. For more than two decades, the ARM government has been unsuccessful in bringing quality education to every children in the region, especially those in the far flung communities. We think the affiliated network for social accountability in East Asia and the Pacific for expanding the Check My School program to the ARM. We know Check My School will help mobilize our people, more stakeholders, and allow us in the regional government to respond more effectively to the problems faced by our schools. The education sector has been a top priority of my administration since the day we took office. ARMM's Department of Education takes a bulk of government resources allotted to the region that owns a bulk of the problems and challenges it faces. Our efforts have led to the eradication of 75,240 gross students between 2012 and 2013, and 21,374 more gross enrollees this school year. We also reported gross elementary schools and even gross secondary schools. We also continue to make progress in addressing teaching gaps with the hiring of 1,323 new public school teachers in May and 2,000 more teachers within the year. The hiring was done through a rigid and transparent process overseen by the Regional Screening Committee. It also included an examination that measures the psychological fitness of aspiring teachers known as the Teachers Assessment and Competency Examination. Further, we have settled the GSIS obligations of Tepet Arm, which had been left hanging for 17 long years. Through a supplemental memorandum of agreement with the Department of Budget and Management and the GSIS signed in June 11, 2014, we have made headways in reforming education in the ARMS. We have improved the quality of our teachers and the performance of our students, as shown by the result of the latest national achievement test. For elementary education, for example, ARMM has registered a rating of 62.20%, up from its 2011 mark of 55.70%. While for secondary education, the region this year has registered a rating of 44.49%, 
up from its 11 mark of just 37.25 percent. We have likewise increased the access of children to basic education, but much, re but much remains to be done. Check my school comes at a time when we in the regional government are moving to establish evidence-based policy formulation. For almost a quarter of a century, the lack of clear data on areas like education, health, and agriculture has kept the regional government from pursuing programs and interventions based on real and credible data. Again, we'd like to thank you for coming in to help us. It is not only that real work is being put to, to establish reliable baseline data on ARMM with the use of technologies like geotagging and database management systems. Apart from setting our policies straight, it also helps secure transparency and accountability in governance. For the past years, ARMM has been presenting reports that almost no one believes, that no one believes due to the lack of credible data. It was among the concerns we have to deal with when we assume office. Right now, we are almost halfway with the database. We target to complete it by the end of the year and include it among the things we will turn to the political entity that will follow the ARMM. Thank you and we look forward for a meaningful and fruitful engagement with you. That was the message of the regional government. The main behalf of the Department of Education this I think the third uh, attempt no, on our part to really check our schools. We made an initial agreement with the Ateneo School of Good Governance. Uh, it was an attempt similar to this. We signed also a MOA. There was a training conducted uh, we, between DepEd, uh, Ateneo School of Good Governance, and CBCS. CBCS. Then, we have ongoing a uh, PEIR with the World Bank, Public Expenditure Institutional Review, where World Bank, together with NGO in the arm, are going on around the RMM, uh, conducting surveys and also geotagging. So this will be the third attempt. And we hope that with the successes of this uh, Check My School in other countries, as well as in the other parts of the country, we hope that uh, this will uh, help no, our campaign to ensure that we deliver quality education in the air. Thank you so much.